Good afternoon, friends. Welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. Now let's pray the Angelus followed by Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among us women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among us women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. And the word was made flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among us women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, your grace in our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, by the message of an angel, so by his passion and cross, we may brought to the glory of the resurrection of the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Dear friends, I offer this Mass for the reposal souls of Antonio, Nicolina, and Liberto Venditti. May they souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Today, as we celebrate the transfiguration of our Lord Jesus on this feast day, I also would like to pray for the priest who supported in my seminary days and who supported me for my priesthood occasion, Father Moses, who celebrates his birthday. I also would like to pray for him. And praying for all of you and for all your families as well. Let us begin the Eucharistic celebration in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, while thanking the Lord for all the blessings on this beautiful day, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us in everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, mercy on us, and take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the glorious transfiguration 
of your only begotten Son, confirm the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to sonship, grant we pray to your servants that listening to the voice of your beloved Son, we may merit to become cohes with him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Daniel. As I watched, thrones were set in place, and one of, the, of great age took his seat. His robe was white as snow, the hair of his head as pure as wool. His throne was a blaze of flames, its wheels were a burning fire. A stream of fire poured out, issuing from his presence. A thousand, thousand waited on him. Ten thousand times, ten thousand stood before him. A court was held and the book were open. I gazed into the vision of the night and I saw coming on the clouds of heaven one like a son of man. He came to the one of great age and was led into his presence. On him was conferred sovereignty, glory and kingship, and men of all peoples, nation and languages become his servants. His sovereignty is an eternal sovereignty, which shall never pass away, nor will his empire ever be destroyed. The word of the Lord. The Lord is King, the Most High, over all the earth. The Lord is King, the Most High, over all the earth. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice. Let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his throne, justice and right. The Lord, the Lord is King, the Most High, over the earth. The mountain melt like wax. Before the Lord of all the earth, the skies proclaim his justice, all people see his glory. Lord the Lord is the most high. Above the earth. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth, exalted far above all spirits. A reading from the second letter of Saint Peter. It was not any cleverly invented myths that we were repeating when we brought you the knowledge of the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. We had seen his majesty for ourselves. He was honored and glorified by God the Father. When the sublime glory itself spoke to him and said, this is my son, the beloved, he enjoys my favour. We heard this ourselves spoken from heaven when we were with him on the holy mountain. So we have confirmation of what was said in prophecies and you will be right to depend on prophecy and take it as a lamp for lightning away through the dark until the dawn comes and the morning star rises in your minds. The word of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This is my son, my beloved, in whom is all my delight. Listen to him, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus took with him Peter and James and his brother John and led them up a high mountain where they could be alone. There in their presence he was transfigured. 
His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as the light. Suddenly Moses and Elijah appeared to them. They were talking with him. Then Peter spoke to Jesus. Lord, he said, it is wonderful for us to be here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He was still speaking when suddenly a bright cloud covered them with a shadow. And from the cloud there came a voice which said, This is my son, the beloved. He enjoys my favor. Listen to him. When they heard this, the disciples fell on their faces, all come with a fear. But Jesus came up and touched them. Stand up, he said. Do not be afraid. And when they raised their eyes, they saw no one but only Jesus. As they came down from the mountain, Jesus gave them this order. Tell no one about the vision until the Son of Man has risen from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, today the Feast of Transfiguration is prefigured prefiguration of the splendor of heaven. God is ready to do anything good to save us as long as we continue to walk with his son Jesus. All that we need to do is to continue to respond and walk faithfully and listen to Christ attentively. In today's gospel, God revealed the gift of his son Jesus to us. And Jesus demands only one thing for us today from the gospel text. As I reflect and meditate, that is, listen to him. We know the difference between listening and hearing. We hear so many things. Even now, while sitting in this holy place, we hear so many noises in and around us that doesn't go into our heart and mind. We, we hear and just leave it. But listening, listening to someone, or listening to the word of God, when we say to someone, I listen to you, that means it really touches our heart and mind. Listening to Jesus means transforming our lives and changing our ways. It is very easy to say, I listen, but in practice, it's very difficult because that needs, when it really touches, then that comes into action, that is, we listen to one another. Dear brothers and sisters, Again, this listening means living according to the word of God. It's not my word, the human word. Again, this listening means walking with God, not just satisfied with our human relationships, but seeking for the relationship of God every day in our life. Trusting him no matter what our circumstances. Obeying his will and paying attention to the voice of God. What the inner voice that speaks to us every day, that is the God who speaks to us. Today let us pray during this Mass. Truly we listen to Jesus more than hearing Jesus. We listen to the people if they are very dear to us. They are very near to us. So today, let us pray 
we listen to the word of God because it gives us life. It brings us healing. It brings us power of God. Let us pray during this Mass. Lord Jesus, we profess and believe that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God, as St. Peter acknowledged and he professed. You are our Lord and Savior who has set us free from sin and deception. Make our faith stronger like the apostles in today's gospel text, Peter, James, and John. Give us the heart to listen to your life-giving word more than depending on the human word. Give us the courage and boldness to speak of you to others, through our lifestyle and through our actions. They may come to know you as Lord and Savior. Lord, may we see your glory and the glory that you have bestowed upon our own souls. May our eyes forever remain fixed on that grace, the grace of your glory. May we see you and your glory, especially in difficult times of our life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands to become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Sanctify, O Lord, we pray, these offerings here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, and by his radiant splendor, cleanses from the stain of sin. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, O Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he revealed his glory in the presence of chosen witnesses and filled with the greatest splendor that bodily form which he shares with all humanity that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of his disciples and that he might show how in the body of the whole church is to be fulfilled what so wonderfully shone forth first in his head. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim holy. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
person are in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Person are in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them, let the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis Aperb and Timothy Archbishop, Don his auxiliary and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Antonio, Nicolina, and Liberto Venditti, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who, fall, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints you are pleased to throughout the ages, we may merit to be called his eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory on us rivers forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses. And as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Holy One reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold whom who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring an everlasting life. Dear parishioners, you are invited to come forward to receive the Holy Communion in your hands only by keeping up the social distance of 1.5 meters from the person next to you. If you belong to another faith, you can come for a blessing just crossing your hands across your chest. Thank you for your cooperation.
let us pray. May the heavenly nourishment we have received, O Lord, we pray, transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendor you will to make manifest in his glorious transfiguration, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go for the masses ended. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day. God bless you.